Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use bomb variants inside of an AllCAD Capture CIS license. So uh, bomb variants is specific to the CIS option, so you would need the CIS option to be able to do this. Um, and we use Part Manager, um, which is also part of the CIS option. So you can see up here I've got an AllCAD Capture CIS license. So we need to launch Part Manager first, so we can either access that from the from the tools, Part, man uh, part Manager open option or we can effectively select the design name in the project window right mouse button part manager so first things first I get a list of all, all the parts available in my design and you can see all that and we've got this kind of part status that you can update directly there's another video kind of going through that in a little bit more detail I also then uh, can start to build groups and subgroups of um, my design parts to make the bomb variants that I need so I have a common base folder which effectively contains um, every item that is used in every single different bomb variant and then you then use groups and subgroups to effectively make um, the bomb variant items. So in this example here, we've got a channel one group with all the items fitted or all the items not fitted. We've got the same for channel two. To make a new group, we can effectively select the group name, right mouse button, new group. I'm just gonna call this memory. I can then make subgroups of this. So I'm gonna do uh, a subgroup, 512K, which is effectively half the memory. I'll do another subgroup. 124k which is all of the memory so there's my two subgroups and they're both empty at the moment so what you need to do is you need to populate the items and the way we would do this there's two ways we can either go to the schematic page draw a window around the items that we want and then it's just literally a right mouse button add parts to group and then you pick the name of the group that you're interested in so I want memory so I click on add and those parts have then been effectively added to my subgroups so if I look in here now you can see there's a list of all those capacitors the other way is to select the common base folder and then if we sort by effectively schematic page what you're doing is looking for the schematic page items that you want uh, so there's my high-speed RAM effectively so I've got that item there there's my ICs happy with that and I can literally just drag those across to the group level uh, and that then adds those parts to that specific group so we go to the memory there's all of the items there and all of the items there so we now need to differentiate between the two subgroups so for one two four K um, everything's going to be fitted so I can leave it as it is um, but for the five twelve K I want only half of these items fitted so um, let's just pick half so that's four of the ICs here I'm literally just going to do a right mouse button set part as not present and then they get tagged with this value of not fitted and I get a little red X I'll do the same for the capacitors and we'll do a right mouse button set part as not present so that effectively splits um, so I've now got half the memory from here and all of the memory here so we then need to effectively build our bomb variants so select the word bomb variant right mouse button new bomb variant give it the name this could be um, the document ID you specifically want because this will be in the title block if you have the property holder there um, I'm just going to use version 1 here so that gives me version 1 and I then need to literally just drag the folders down to the wins up the bits that I need so you must have the common base folder in there so we'll drag the common base folder into here um, for channel 1 I want the not fitted version so that gives me that I want the fitted version for channel 2 and I want half the memory for version uh, for version 1 here as well so I've effectively populated all the items with a, a, a subgroup from each of the top levels that then builds my bomb variant and I can then go and use um, the report CI spinner materials to make a a report a bomb let's just close part manager so if I go to the design name and then I can do report CI spill of materials and standards you can see I can choose version 1 to generate a bill of materials specifically and that would write the bill of materials out for that version I can also um, make the schematic look like that version for me as well so if I go to view and variant view modes I've got my version 1 here so we can click OK this then sets the graphical design to look like version 1 so you can see straight away the parts that I've choose or chosen effectively have changed in colour, they've gone to a grey colour and they're now not fitted. And that's the same for the capacitors. So it's not fitted option. There is also um, a title block placeholder. So I've got variant name equals version one. So I could then just go and generate an intelligent PDF of this uh, schematic and output that and then that would be my version one specific schematic. There are some settings for these colours. So if we go to options and preferences if we look at the colors here there's a part not present as gray so you can choose that 
Um, I can also pick variant parts and I can have a variant part color. So if I had an alternative uh, resistor value or capacitor value, you could choose that to do as well. The not fitted itself is controlled under options and CIS configuration, but you, you can't do that kind of change in uh, variant view mode. So we have to go to view, variant view mode, back to the core design to get, I can do anything to the schematic. Um, and if we go to options and CIS configuration and setup, under the admin preferences tab, this gives me the, the not fitted option parts not present display at. So you can specify this as DNI, do not stuff, whatever you use as your company standard.